No, look, it's just, um, I got to see one of my horses, Horace's choice didn't run well. I got to check him when I go back uh, later. But uh, the other two horses ran really well. I mean, uh, Win Practitioner on the ratings of the race were against him, but uh, he's run the best out of all the runners actually because uh, he's sort of 20 pounds out there. And I think the extra furlong on the big day will uh, even help him even more. The pace was uh, very slow, you know, which um, helped us with the good gate with uh, Green Birdie. Ollie just. I told him the horse is very relaxed. I've got him right where I want him. I mean, it was a big uh, step up in distance, you know. I was very happy with his last run in the mile. He ran extremely well coming from off the speed, but uh, now we've got to start to put him in, into his races a bit more because he's not pulling. Take advantage of the good draw we had today, and uh, it's been a good ride, and, um, you know, it's been a good win on the line. But uh, in saying that, we have to respect the second horse because uh, he's had a lot of uh, problems in the last week, and Tony couldn't train him the way he wanted to train him. So he's still the horse to beat in, on Derby Day because everyone knows he stays the distance strong and he will improve out of the run. So, I mean, uh, you know, we still respect Tony's horse, but today's my day and I'm happy and I deserve it. Very happy with the owner. You know, uh, horse has done his job today and um, he's been racing really well. This horse is going to be a very good horse down the road. Um, he just is starting to learn what it's about now. And once he gets it in his head, he's uh, he's going to win a Group One here. Very, you know, within the next year, I'm very confident. Can Green Birdie stay 2000? Look, uh, in his own age group, yes. But his ideal trip will end up being 1600 meters. He's going to be a top-class miler.